Hello everyone! Welcome to Learn and Share. We're doing problem solving practice using strategies. Problem 8. There are 10 rows of seats in the theater. 30 people can sit in the first row. 34 people can sit in the second row. 38 people can sit in the third row, and so on. How many seats are there in the theater? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Here are the problem-solving steps that I used. Understand the problem. Plan what strategy you're going to use. Solve the problem using your strategy and check your answer. Step one, understand the problem. So what are we given? We are given all this information. There are 10 rows of seats in a theater. So in our own words, we can write total rows equals 10. 30 people can sit in the first row. In our own words, we can write first row equals 30 people. 34 people can sit in the second row. In our own words, we can write second row equals 34 people. 38 people can sit in the third row and so on. So in our own words, we can write Third row equals 38 people. What is there to find? We have to find out how many seats there are in the theater. So in our own words, we can write total number of seats. Step two, plan. So let's think about the strategies. Here are all the strategies. I've made a video for each of them. There's draw a picture, organize list, make a table, make a graph, act it out, look for a pattern, try to revise, number sentence, logical reasoning, solve a simpler problem, and work backwards. I'm going to let you look for a pattern and make a table. Let's start by making a table. Here we have the row number, here we have the rule, and we have the number of people over here. If we observe carefully, we'll find out that with each new row, the number of people are increasing by four. So the rule is plus four. Let's find out the number of people for row number four. If we apply the rule, it will become 38 plus four, which is 42. Again, for row five, it will be 42 plus 4, which is 46. And for row number 6, it will be 46 plus 4, which is 50. For row number 7, it will be 50 plus 4, which is 54. For row number 8, it will be 54 plus four equals 58. For row number nine, it will be 58 plus four, which is 62. And for row number 10, it will be 62 plus four, which is 66. Now we got the people, the number of people that can sit in rows one through 10. In order to find all the seats in the theater, we must add all these numbers. So let's do it. Here are all the numbers that need to be added. Looks difficult, right? But don't worry, let me give you a clue. Do you see any pattern if you add one number from the beginning and one from the end together? Well, 30 plus 66 equals 96. 34 plus 62 
is again 96. 38 plus 58 is 96. 42 plus 54 is 96. And last but not least, 46 plus 50 is 96. We can see the number 96 getting repeated again and again over here. So we can write a simple multiplication sentence for it. 96 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, so times 5, equals 480. There are 480 seats in the theater. Step 4, look back and check. Let's go through a couple of checks here. Have we found the pattern correctly? Yes, we have. Have we calculated the number of people in each row correctly? Yes, we have. Now let's see if we have added all these numbers correctly. 30 plus 34 equals 64. 64 plus 38 equals 102. 102 plus 42 equals 144. 144 plus 46 equals 190. 190 plus 50 equals 240. 240 plus 54 equals 294. 294 plus 58 equals 352. 352 plus 62 equals 414. 414 plus 66 equals 480. So this means our answer is... Correct! Yay, we solved the problem! Do you want to try another strategy? Here I have listed all the strategies. You could choose a strategy and try to solve the problem with it. For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye!